Good morning, Scrappers. It's Muriel. I'm here this morning to show you a couple of cards that I made using the $2 spot uh, heavy metal embellishments from Michaels. You're familiar with these. There was a typewriter, a telephone, a crown, a floor de -lis, and there was also a camera, which I had one and I've used it. So I thought I would put these to use on cards. I've used them many times before on cigar boxes and other projects. So um, if you're going to use these, you might want to use your heavy corrugated card from um, Michaels because the embellishments are quite heavy and I know that um, they would probably give it more support than just the regular heavy cardstock. So let me show you um, what I used, um, the first paper pad. This is from the Graphic 45 Lay Communique paper, which I've done a sh um, cigar box with and cards in the past, but it had the reference to telephone, so that's why I chose to use it. I did some layering of some black cardstock and two other uh, designer papers uh, from the collection. You can see that top paper, it shows the um, old style of telephones. Then I just used some of the cutouts, um, some postage stamps, some other little things, popped them up on dimensions. This is really cute here. I love this. This is um, an image of... Um, representing the Statue of Liberty and she has a telephone in her hand and you can see here she has a sentiment that says hello this is Liberty speaking so I thought that was perfect to go with the um, telephone um, I did some wanna scrap bling all the way around the card put some here on the ends of this um, sentiment and then um, some um, recollection flowers here that I kind of just went over with a little vintage photo and then the top of this telephone if you can see has a um, sticker that kind of references the um, numbers to the letters if you remember these types of phone you know it was just like the cell phones now there's three letters per number so I thought that was giving it a special touch on the inside I just did some um, layering and a cutout from the uh, collection here and my sentiment will go there so this was really fun again it does make it a heavy card with this metal embellishment so um, I secured mine down with some E6000 glue so that I am sure it's not going to fall off okay the other card that I made and this is one the first one that I made it uh, is using the typewriter and um, excuse me what I use on this um, card is the papers from that I recently purchased at Tuesday morning so I use some of this um, designer paper with the card stock this was a set that came and I showed it in a haul that I recently did and I use some tiny tots because I put the word hi on the uh, typewriter and then I made use of some of the ephemera packs that I recently bought from Hobby Lobby. This is the Bow Bunny pack and I used a journaling spot out of here. And then the Maggie Holmes, I used some of the um, word uh, sentiments, cutouts. So again, here is the card. Did some really simple layering. I just have some cream color cardstock with some of the designer paper and then this uh, beautiful polka dotted mint green um, shaped um, journaling spot um, is what I um, put on top of the paper. Then you can see the two cutouts that says number one from Maggie Holmes and here's one that says do what makes you happy. And then these little banner tags of little pieces that I secured underneath the typewriter they came from these um, We Are Memory Keepers journal cards and when you get them there they come in half right and they just have some really cute um, little images on them some of them say things some of them don't you can write what you want to in them that's really cute it's like notebook paper so I had uh, one in there that had the strips as you can see they replicate what I used on the card so I just cut them out and secured those underneath the typewriter and then this is one that was also in there it was just that notebook paper type of um, journaling card I secured it to the back of the typewriter here and here back of the card and then I just stamped hello and just, just wrote my friend and then you can see I use a tiny touch right there where it says hi I try to put them over the letters of the uh, keyboard but 
it, it's fine right there in the center. So I thought that was cute. And that, again, was the first card that I made that inspired me to use um, these heavy embellishments. Now on the inside, I just did some um, layering of paper. I attached some of that same paper from the front of the card. I created two banners. And then this um, card here came from the Maggie Holmes Ephemera Pack. And it's really cute. It says, a message for you. Then it has a two from Dayton message. It's cute little teacups all stacked together and I can just write my message right there and I just cut out some brown paper and um, used a all, um, scallop punch on the edge so that was the second card thought that was really cute excuse me the first card and then finally I ended with using the camera and I used the Venter Collector, Vintage Collector paper because it has lots of references to cameras. Um, it's a beautiful paper pad. I love the colors. So I started out with some green and white chevron paper. Then I went over that with some of that pink flower paper. And then finally the grid sheet. Then I secured a uh, ribbon underneath the first two layers. This is just some pink sheer ribbon. I used the chipboard chevron frame over that. Underneath you can see the white doily and then one of the cutouts said family and the stickers, the epoxy stickers here says good looking and then I created these two flowers using this punch from Stamping Up right? and some brads from um, Bow Bunny and just have these two flowers um, they're on dimension so they're kind of really popped out and then you can see the camera I cut out um, from one of the um, hearts. Let me see if I can dig down and show you. Excuse me. Here's what I used to cut, um, to punch out the flowers. I had these, uh, this page of hearts. And you can see I just cut the flowers out of different hearts. And um, one of the hearts had this sentiment, super awesome person. And I just tried to cut that out and get it right in the center of the camera lens with some glossy accent on top. And then here are two hearts that I um, that came in the pack and I just um, put those on opposite sides of the camera. So that did that card. And then on the inside, again, just one of the cutouts and a area here for the sentiment. So these were so fun to make. And I'm glad that I have just these few metal embellishments left. And I know they still have them at my Michaels. I've seen them still, but I won't buy any more because I just want to um, use up what I have. So this was really fun. If you um, are inspired to do so, I would certainly use the... Um, the corrugated cards to make them because the embellishments do get heavy and again you don't want them falling off again this was the graphic 45 lake communique paper vintage collector and then this was paper from i don't know it doesn't even have a name um momenta so sorry so again this was at hobby lobby and i don't know if i showed these papers in the hall but you can kind of see the um types that they have really really uh, different but yet cute so thank you all for watching I hope you are inspired to create some cards if you have these metal embellishments here is a way that you could put them to use so thanks again for watching have a great afternoon bye now